it's the season again for Lego sales on Amazon, Target, Walmart. So stay tuned to find out more about what I got. All right, guys, hello once again. Uh, welcome into haul video number 122. Um, so as I always do, I post these videos every Wednesday, at least I try to when I get stuff in. Um, but hope you guys are having a great week. Um, I do have a pretty good haul here. I have an in-stock trades order I'm gonna go over, a lot of small stuff to kind of touch on and talk about. Uh, I do have some Lego. Unfortunately, I don't have any trading cards um, this week, so we won't be going over that. But uh, definitely we'll be trying to show them in future hauls, possibly. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these sections here, starting with the comics. Alright guys, welcome back into the haul video. Welcome into the comic book section here of haul video number 122. Um, so before I get into this haul, I do want to talk about what I've been reading this week. Uh, so recently finished up the second volume of Reginald Hudlin's run on Black Panther. Um, so currently into the third collection, and I'm really liking it so far. It's definitely a different take than Priest run, obviously, uh, but it still has its merits, I would say. Um, also, I am finishing up um, Die, volume four. Um, so I am going to be finishing that series, hopefully this week, uh, either today or tomorrow. So kind of doing both of those series at once. Um, definitely enjoying Black Panther more than I am enjoying Die. Um, you guys can tell me on the comments below, but uh, I really am not liking this series, Die. Uh, it, it is just very convoluted and hard to follow, honestly. So I'm just slogging through it and trying to finish it as soon as I can. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just not my cup of tea and um, that's just how I feel about it. But anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and get into this haul here. So uh, I do have a couple of image trades and then some Marvel books here as well to show. So uh, we'll get started. So the thumbnail for this uh, haul video is the Manhattan Projects Volume 6. So um, really excited to finish off collecting this series here. I just went ahead and picked this up on in stock trades, obviously. Um, this collects issues. Um, let's see here taking too long here um this collects issues uh or i'm sorry this is the manhattan projects the sun beyond the stars one through four i don't know what number that is though i think there's definitely like a number behind that but you can see here kind of some of the art going on so uh definitely some interesting stuff and really excited to finally have this whole series collected now so um may actually go into that series next because I'm I'm trying to mainly stick with Black Panther, trying to get that done before the movie. Um, so I'm trying to pick up some of these smaller image like series, you know. So Die was only is only 20 issues, Manhattan Projects is only six volumes. So I'm trying to pick stuff that's a little bit shorter for me to kind of tag team with Black Panther. Um, so we'll see if I choose that or something else. All right, next book I got here is another series that I'm can finally say I finished collecting. And that is Morning Glories, um, Nick Spencer's image series. Um, you can see here, this collects issues. Um, I don't know. It's like the same thing, I think. It's this 47 through 50. And the um, ending arc is called Expulsion. So um, that's kind of what that is. But um, yeah, really, really happy to have this finally, finally collected now in, in full. And you can kind of see here... Um, I'll skip that. Um, yeah, you can see here some art and some stuff there. So, yeah, this has been a collecting this series has been a a, a trial because <laughs> it's been hard to find some of these volumes. And um, IST randomly had this this volume back up on on listed, for, you know, because for a while there it was out of stock, so I didn't know what was going on there. So went ahead and, and picked it up and now I have the whole series 10 volumes of that so um, definitely we'll try to get into that at some point as well all right 
So another image series here uh, that I picked up um, was um, Crossover by um, Donnie Cates. So it's interesting, actually. I totally took these IST orders out of order because um, last haul video, I think I showed the second volume of this. Assuming that I already showed you guys the first volume, which I didn't. So I apologize for that. Um, but now we have the, the first one here. So um, yeah, I think there's one other volume that's left to collect, I think. But I've heard some really good things about this. I mean, I, I, I really liked a lot of Donnie Cates' stuff. So, and um, just looking at this art too, it looks really stylistic. I like it. It kind of harkens back to like classic Silver Age stuff with like the, the styling and um, yeah, I'm really gonna like this. Um, also, there is an ad for God Country in the middle of the book. That's a little interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that in the trade before. Usually it's either at the front or the back of the book, but um, yeah, we'll see what this is like. This collects issues one through six, I believe, and um, really looks like a nice trade to start off with. So, um, and interesting, this is actually $20. Uh, this, usually the first trade for an image series is 10 bucks, and that's how that's their marketing technique. They, they do that to try to get you into the series and to buy more, but for some reason they doubled it for this one, which is actually, pretty expensive for that so yeah all right next book I ended up getting here um I saw it bounce around a little bit on sale at other sites that I shop at and unfortunately I, I didn't spring on it fast enough uh, so I missed down it so I just ended up throwing it on my IST lit wish list here just so I can finish this series as well and be done with it and that is Umbrella Academy Volume 3 Hotel Oblivion and um I actually don't think I'm done with collecting this. I think there is still stuff. I think it's still an ongoing series or um, there's still more trades left to come out. I, I, I'm not really that sure, but um, regardless, this is as much ca caught up as I can be right now. Uh, this is Dark Horse. Um, same thing, Like I don't think this is like a numbered series. I think it's just like different arcs. So but it's all the same series, if that makes sense. So um, yeah interesting art style going on here i really like that really really looks nice there so there's some more art there so that one might be another one i can get into and read because i know there's a series based on it i'm not sure what streaming site has it if it's um i'm not sure if it's netflix or hulu one of those has it i think so we'll give that a read at some point as well and the last volume i bought here was something that I wanted to pick up um, because I have a lot of this character's collection already and this book was floating on my wish list for a while and I saw it drop down to like a 60% off sale and I'm like well let me grab it now because that's a really great deal for that um, and that is the second volume of ta Coates' run on Captain America. Um, so this collects the rest of his run which I've read I would say probably about two thirds of it. So maybe everything that's in here minus the last couple issues I probably read. Um, but I, I will eventually reread this in hardcover because I just think it's gonna be better. And also I missed out on like probably like the first story arc or so of the series. So I, I definitely wanna reread it in its entirety. But this collects issues 13 through 30 of the Captain America series. Um, and you know, just really excited. And I think I'm definitely gonna get a better idea of how this run flows just by reading his, um, Ta-Nehisi Coates' Black Panther run, which I will be getting to here shortly. Um, but yeah, pick this up for $14 on IST, which is a really great deal. Um, cover price on this was $45. So again, really great deal for that. Uh, you can see here at the back. Unfortunately, I don't wanna open this cause it's still sealed in shrink wrap. Um, so. I won't be opening it here to show you the, the inside art, but you can see here the nice Alex Ross covers. Um, but yeah, it's interesting because that series, uh, there is an omnibus coming out, I think next year for it. So it's gonna collect the, the whole 30 issue run. So if you missed out on the two hard covers, um, you know, you can go get the omnibus and probably save money in the process possibly. Um, but yeah, I just went ahead because I, the first, hardcover my friend sold it to me and so I picked up the second one and now I have the entirety so really happy to have that but 
yeah, aside from that, that is my little comic call here. Just finish it. I mean, all, almost all of these except the crossover volume. Almost all of them get me caught up to the series that I was collecting already. So that's really good, again, to have some gaps filled in. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this part. All right, guys, welcome into the Lego section here of haul video number 122. Um, so, yeah, as I mentioned at the top of the um, top of the video, there were a lot of sales that were going on at the time of this of these purchases. Um, so I purchased these around late September, early October of um, this year, obviously. So I'll kind of describe where I got all these, but I'll start with some of the sets I bought from Amazon. Um, so just looking at some of these here, um, I did make one purchase on Amazon and because this one set that I'm holding here in my lap was just under $50, uh, I couldn't get off. I couldn't get the spend 50, get $10 off promotion. So I went ahead and picked the cheapest thing that I could get, get for, um, to, to get me over that $50 threshold. And that is this dots, uh, stitch on patch for Mickey Mouse. So interesting here, you know, Lego created the dots theme um, and now Disney has decided to start releasing sets themed around the dots theme. So I wonder how that works because it's not like a, it's not like a, a complete set, right? Like it's like, it's an IP that Lego developed themselves, right? Which was the dots theme. So I wonder how the licensing of that works out compared to like, you know, the, the small Disney castle, right? Which is just a straight disney um you know set right so interesting little side note there but went ahead and picked this up and um you know nice little printed tiles there can't go wrong with that all right and then sticking with the disney theme um i went ahead and picked this set up because again it was on sale i haven't seen the movie yet that this movie is, that this set is based off of but i wanted to pick this up because i'm a huge fan of toy story and um you know, always loved it growing up. And I went, wanted to pick this up because I thought this was a really cool set um, for a couple of reasons. I'll show that here shortly, but that is the Lego 76832XL15 spaceship from the Lightyear movie. Um, this originally retailed for $50. I got around, you know, when all the discounts were taken off, I got it for around 40 bucks. Um, so really nice. It comes with a couple of minifigures as well as the um, cat there. I can see here the minifigures on the side. Um, really nice ship. Honestly, the reason why I bought this set, you know, part of the re a lot of the reason why I bought this set was because this actually comes with its own buildable stand, which Lego honestly doesn't do much, especially for these lower end price sets. I mean, normally you'll get a stand like that for like a UCS Star Wars set or something, but not for a $50, um, set here which i thought was interesting um so that will look very nice kind of in this you know it'll be a very displayable um set for sure i'm really excited to have that here in my collection so went ahead and picked that up and um really excited to get this to build maybe i'll watch the movie at some point i mean i know it's on disney plus so i can easily watch it if i wanted to but um yeah went ahead and picked that up for semi good sale there all right so transitioning here, I did get two sets from Target. Um, the first one I'll show here is, is purely for investment. Uh, I went ahead and picked it up because it was $12 off retail and um, wanted to pick one up just to have as an investment piece. Again, I already have this set. Um, I've already bought it and built it like years ago at this point. This set's retiring at the end of this year, so I wanted to grab one while I could. And that is the Lego um 75277 boba fett's um helmet set so you know this is celebrating 40 years of empire strikes back um there was a reason why this set um stayed on shelves like this is the oldest helmet set that has been around that's still like actively being sold by lego uh the, the tie fighter pilot and the stormtrooper have long since retired. I mean, I think the TIE Fire Pilot retired like at least a year ago. Um, and this set has been around since 2020. So almost going on to three years or two full years now for this. Um, and 
yeah, really excited to pick this up and to keep this sealed. I, I definitely will not be opening this. Um, my, my plan is to keep this sealed and then hopefully if one day if I need it, I can flip it for some money. Um, you know, I've been trying to get into the investment game a little bit with Lego. Um, you'll see here in the next couple of hauls, uh, some sets I bought. Well, just one set, I guess. There's been one, there's one set I bought that um, I am looking to keep as an investment. And again, you know, it's, it's a very profitable uh, area to make money off of. Um, it's just one of those things though, where it's like, you just gotta wait for it to go up in price. Cause it's not something where I can buy this today, flip it tomorrow, make a crap ton of money, right? Cause it, it's just, it's not as valuable right now, right? So, um, but yeah, really happy to get this and uh, we'll definitely be kind of fleshing out my investment collection a little bit more going into this year. I've, I've been kind of trying to make some strategic purchases to kind of build that out, but um, certainly nothing too crazy, right? It's not my full-time job. I still have a full-time job that I have to do. And this is certainly just like a, a side hobby type of thing that I'm doing. So um, there's that. But yeah, pick that set up. And then another set I got that I was looking to get for a while, but was waiting for it to go on sale uh, was the newest architecture set that came out last year or I'm sorry, this earlier this year. Um, and it's interesting because Lego has only released a couple of architecture sets. Like I think this was the only like actual architecture set we got this year. And that is the Singapore um, architecture vignette build here. So this will definitely go nicely next to, um, you know, uh, Dubai and Shanghai and stuff like that. Um, really, really excited to have this in my collection. Uh, definitely not the best um, design for the set. I feel like I feel like it, there could have been a little bit more. I don't know. Not really too sure. I mean, I've never been to Singapore, so I I, I couldn't tell you what exactly it looks like. But uh, you can see here, kind of the back. Interesting box size too. This is like you know before the box sizes for um, architecture were a little bit taller and a little bit less chunky. Uh, this one's a little bit more stout and a little bit more a little bit deeper. Um, it honestly feels a little bit cheaper too because i know the architecture sets were a very premium product for lego um honestly probably dating even further than like you know all these black box sets that we're getting now the 18 plus sets like architecture was kind of like that first 18 plus line if that makes sense um but yeah i mean i'm just interested because like the lego like architecture sets used to have like the foldable like lid that used to pop up and it was very nice like packaging this feels very, very cheap now. And, you know, you got the punch tabs on the back. So uh, do I really care about that that much? No, but it's just something I've, I've noticed. Um, the only good thing, I guess, is that the price hasn't gone up. I mean, architecture sets have stayed at $60, which is, you know, for a set like this, for 827 pieces, I think that's a fair deal, right? So there's that. But yeah, pick that set up and really excited to build that and, um, place that into my architecture setup that I have here in the apartment. And then the last set I got here was, was honestly one that I was really not on the radar to buy at all. And um, I was just scrolling through Walmart one night. I think I was traveling. It was one of those, one of those weeks I was traveling back in September and um, was just scrolling through like the Lego Walmart app and or the Walmart like Lego like stuff. And I was just looking through like what was on rollback or sale. And I noticed this set was 25% off and it was a hundred dollar set. So that was, you know, $75. And I'm like, wow, that's a pretty good deal actually. So I just jumped on it, bought it right then and there. Like that was probably one of the biggest impulse buys I think I've made in a while. But, you know, for sets like that, when, when they're that expensive, like normally once you get up to a hundred dollars, you very rarely see those sets go on that much of a sale. Um, unless it's approaching its retirement time. So went ahead and picked it up and that set is the Lego, um, let's see here, where's the numbers? 10497 uh, Galaxy Explorer Space System. So this is a recreation of an older uh, Lego set from the 1980s, I believe. Um, and you can see here kind of some of that stuff, but this is an amazing set. I mean, this harkens back amazingly to, you know, the classic space age of, of Lego sets, which I was unfortunately too young to experience in person, but 
Um, this set really does, um, really does scratch that itch for a lot of those fans that were, grew up during that time. Um, I wish I could tell you what set this recreates. I can't tell you off the top of my head, but um, it's amazing. This is a really great set and um, reminds me a lot of um, Benny's spaceship from the Lego movie, kind of that same uh, color scheme and, and design. But yeah, this thing's massive. I can't wait to build this and um, display it here in the Lego, Lego room here for you guys or my, I guess it's not really the Lego room, but my room here, my office area, so. Um, yeah, really happy to get that $75 off. I can't tell you if it's still on that sale right now. It probably isn't, but, um, if it was, if you guys got one good for you, that's amazing. You know, I got picked up my copy, so really cool to get that. But yeah, that was my Lego collection here. So still have some more stuff to build. I built a set last night, so I'm really trying hard to kind of build uh, more sets because, <laughs> uh traveling and stuff like that has not has certainly not helped me with like trying to get these sets built and displayed and stuff like that so um yeah we'll have to figure that out but otherwise i hope you guys enjoyed this segment of the video all right guys thank you so much for watching this video again if you haven't already make sure you like comment and subscribe um i do videos like these every week so um certainly your comments and your likes will certainly help out the channel um you know, I, I love making these videos for you guys, and I, I hope you find some joy in them too. I, I know it's it's a glorified show and tell in some ways, but I, I get a lot of enjoyment out of it, and uh, I hope you guys do too. So, yeah. Um, until next time, guys. I will see you on the flip side.